morning people welcome to yet another episode of Capo's daily commute today is an ugly day it's cold right now a little bit rainy but it's supposed to warm up um, but I did want to uh, jump right into what I feel like talking about today um, and it's addiction um, I've seen enough people addicted to things to know what the warning signs are. Um, and those things, like, unless you're familiar with what individual substances do to people and how it makes them look, it could be really hard to tell. Um, but sometimes it's just the little things where if you know you might not even see them like that's that's always a big time red flag is if if you have s suspicions of somebody struggling with some sort of addiction and you don't ever see them even if they don't know you suspect them of having something that they got to they they got to take care of and defeat that, that's a warning sign like because if they are doing it they don't want people to know so the you know they they keep to themselves um, and it can even be people like really close to you that there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be seeing them on a regular basis and then it's always like an excuse when you go and you know go to check on them hey what's going on I haven't seen you for a while and then, you know, some half the time you don't even get a response. They don't pick up phone calls, won't return messages. And then when you finally do get a hold of them, they have this massive uh, excuse already well thoughtfully planned out. And if you start to see those patterns and think that's a good indicator that there's something wrong going on. The hard part is, you know, when you do catch somebody or you do have enough, um, sometimes actual facts and evidence, they get very defensive and then they tend to push you away and make it seem like, oh no, you, you're judging me. You don't even know what's going on. You know, when they, when they try to flip the script to make you out to be the bad guy, you know, that's usually a step of denial. Um, or even they flat out know they have a problem. They just don't want their cat out of the bag. And, you know, it sucks. It sucks when you see people, you know, going through it, especially people that you love and care about. And they're just not, they're not willing to keep it a hundred. And they're just willing to push their relationships aside to protect their, what they think is their um, integrity. And then if you are close to someone and you start to see these flags and these warnings and you just notice that their overall demeanor isn't what it used to be, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're sad, maybe they just seem to themselves, you know, that that's a good psychological indicator that sometimes it could just be mental health and a lot of times addiction and mental health go hand in hand so you know I think I think everybody's uh, dealt with some form of addiction or not in their lifetime like if you keep it real whether it's cigarettes, alcohol pornography, drugs shopping too much you know like there you can be addicted to like literally anything um so like it, if you know like what your own personal addiction is and you know how you feel about what you want the world to know you know your secret think about how, how far you might be willing to go to keep that secret in the darkness and then when you're dealing with something that may seem like a heavier addiction, um, 
that someone else is doing, try to imagine what they're willing to do to protect their secret. So a lot of it's just being able to see the warning signs, understand psychology, and also every person is different. So you need to approach everybody um, with a personal game plan. Like if you know this person is very insecure, then you don't want to, if you do need to have uh, an intervention, you don't want it to be a confrontation. So, and then there's some people where that's the only way you can get through to them is to confront them. And if you don't do it in an aggressive way, you know, you're not going to have any results. So it's always a very touchy subject. Um, you definitely got to handle with care, but I think it's too much of a problem to not, you know, have people bring more awareness to it. Um, and if, in you know, if, if you're not one of those people that's really known anybody or suffered yourself from any addiction, then that's a wonderful thing. But I think it would be also important and wise to try to understand what some of these signs and signals look like so that if and when you do come across um, someone that's struggling with real addiction, at least you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. But yeah, I did not want to make this one a long one just because it's, it's very touchy and like very personal to me. <clears throat> and it's raining. So yeah. I'm going to wrap it up on that note. Um, and you know to be honest i didn't really even want to do a, um do a video this morning but when you're trying to accomplish something and like you want to see results um if you don't have the self-control and the dedication to really like hold yourself accountable and make yourself do it then um I don't think you're going to see the results you expect as quickly as you would if you just stuck to the game plan. So even though I really didn't feel like saying anything today, <coughs> I chose to do it for myself. And um, this this channel is just an experiment, you know. Maybe that's part of like um, the the problem with people who like I'm a very focused person. But I focus on a lot of different things. This is just an idea that, like I said, is going to happen. It's just free time in the car. So I could do something with it. So my heart's not like super into this channel yet. Um, it is just literally a side project. But I still got to hold that same uh, level of focus for even little things like this. So thanks for listening and watching. Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably check back in at the end at the end of the workday on the commute back home so if you guys are watching thank you you already know what the requests are <coughs> and i hope you guys enjoy your day peace